Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Royal Family. In the last episode, we had Prince Francisco of Oasis Springs age up into a teenager. We also had Princess Naya go on her very first date with Earl Philip of Brindleton Bay. So they had their first kiss and then they started dating. They are now boyfriend and girlfriend. So she is our first royal teenager to be on a date and to be having a boyfriend. So I'm really, really excited for her. We also had Princess Amira kind of start scouting boys because we know that Princess Amira is going to be a huge flirt and a huge tease. She got to go talk to Lord Ian and Lord Jasper of Willow Creek. We didn't really get to any flirting, but that is what we're going to focus on in this episode is Princess Amira flirting with a bunch of other people because we know how crazy she is. We know that she's going to be in this arranged marriage that she knows she's going to be in with Prince Johan of Brindleton Bay. So she's just trying to like get all the flirting out as much as possible right now. So I don't think it's going to be all out when she gets married, but we will just have to see how that goes. So I also want to try to see if Princess Anna is going to have her third baby in this episode. In the last episode, I showed you guys we aged up her second daughter, Lady Aurora. So we also also have her oldest daughter, Lady Ezra, will probably be aging up into a child soon, but I don't know how soon. Probably not too soon. So yeah, we still probably have a few episodes before she does that. But she might have her third baby, so maybe we'll get to see that in this episode. But before we begin today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Don't forget to turn on your notifications and to hit that big thumbs up if you're excited for this episode. And let's go ahead and play the royal family. I also forgot to say this. Happy Mother's Day, because I know this video is going to be posted on Mother's Day. So happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. I am not, I what, I kind of was thinking of doing like a Mother's Day special, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Like, uh, yeah, I mean, besides Princess Anna maybe having her third child in this episode, that's kind of like the only Mother's Day thing we'll get to do. But happy Mother's Day to all the mothers watching. Let's see. Okay, so it is Monday. It is 11 p.m. Princess Amira has just finished her homework. So I was basically thinking of going out and having her like hang out with a bunch of friends and then inviting a bunch of people. So I think we're gonna go to a nightclub. Also guys, I did get a jumpsuit, like a really pretty fancy jumpsuit for Princess May. So you guys will also get to see that. So I'm excited for you to see that. But okay, so a good nightclub for us to go to, I guess the Windenburg Club. Have we been here before? I think we had, we had like a teen night out with Princess Cora and Princess Anna and Prince or King Henry when he was a prince and they all went out when they were teenagers, but that's a long time ago. So let's invite Prince Johan. Let's invite, should we invite our cousins? We can only invite seven people right now. So I don't know like who exactly we're going to get to invite. So we just want pretty much like the teenagers to come. So like Prince or Lord Sean, which is her neighbor, Prince James. We can invite we can invite Prince Kellen and Princess May. Oh well, I don't know. We might run out of room, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, we'll just have to see. But we can invite I uh, Princess Belle, Princess Naya, and Lord Wyatt. Well, we don't have enough space. Okay. Well, should we invite all of these people? I don't I don't see the oh Lord Ian and Lord Jasper. That's who we wanted to invite too. Okay, not Prince James then. And then not Lord Sean. I'm going to invite Lord Ian and Lord Jasper. So we can invite all of them. So this is like a super random group of people going to the club. But Lord Ian and Lord Jasper was who Princess Amira was flirting with or trying to flirt with last episode. She didn't actually get to flirt with them yet. So yeah, we'll just have to see how this goes. Okay, so all of the teens are out. So it is cold right now. Hopefully no one dies of of being of cold weather, of being frozen. Uh, who is this? This is King Jared. Oh gosh, we have a chaperone here, guys. King Jared, which is Prince Johan's dad. He's here chaperoning all of the teenagers out at the nightclub. So I think we have been here before. This, have we? This kind of looks familiar. I think so. So why don't we just all like dance as a group so we can go dance together why can't we dance together music must be playing nearby why is there no dj okay there we go i think now music yeah all right now there's a dj so we are all good so we're just gonna have like the group of everyone dance here everyone is in their winter coats though like i kind of wanted people to be in like party outfits or something but okay so princess amira I think she's gonna start flirting. Should we get a drink first? Oh my gosh, is that Queen Lindsay? She's here too. We have like every chaperone here, you guys. Okay, order drink and then for her. So I want something that's gonna make her feel like super flirty. So 
Is the, is the sea of fire make you feel really flirty? Oh, well, I just clicked on it, so I guess we'll see. So she can try to have the sea of fire drink. And then next episode, not this episode, but I'll probably age up Princess Megan and Prince Michael. Yeah, probably not going to do that in this episode, but we can do that for sure in the next episode. But I want Princess May to change into her everyday outfit so you guys can see the jumpsuit that we have for her. I'm actually really excited for you guys to see this. So yeah, so this is the jumpsuit I have for her. I love it. I think it's really cute and still like very elegant and, and stuffs as well. So I'm I'm happy with this jumpsuit that I found for her. Oh my gosh, this is a big line at the bar, you guys. What the, is this? Is this Queen Alice? <gasps> Queen Alice is here, guys. Oh my gosh, their mother's here. We have to say hi. Wait, come back, come back. Yeah, their mother is here. That is so funny. Heartfelt compliment. I think Prince uh, Kellen is also going to want to say hi to her, too. Wait, come back. Why does she keep walking away, you guys? This is not what we want her to do. Express admiration. And then, is Princess Amira going to feel flirty from this drink? Because I am not sure if she is. I don't know if that's what this drink does. Let's see. Order drink for herself. Is there another one that... I swear there's something that makes them feel really flirty. Buffalo wing... Flaming Zesty Salt? I don't know. Ridgeport? Nah. I don't see anything. Hmm. Alright. Well, I guess not. Well, she can start flirting with, I guess, like, Lord Jasper's right. Oh my gosh, that Princess Anna, she's here too. Guys, they're being chaperoned. I don't know how much Princess uh, Amira can get away with here. Let's see. Friendly complain about freezing temperature just to get a conversation started. She is in a group conversation right now. And this is just like a very crowded area, though. Let's be real. Like, this is so, so crowded. Princess Co or Queen Cora is here, too. It is dark. Is that just me or is it dark? Literally, she just wants to flirt. Like, she's feeling in a flirty mood. She's been a teenager for like a few sim days, like a good amount of sim days, and she's just like, I just need to flirt before I'm a young adult. Because I think we're going to have her and Prince Johan get married, like, pretty much right away. Also, why they, can they not, why can't they stargaze? Why can't you stargaze? Is it because it's cold outside? That's kind of strange that they can't just because it's cold? That seems weird. Well, why don't you have you guys sit and chat here, and then hopefully, yeah, they just want, they just want to, like, get away from everyone. Ooh, this is a little private area. We could go here. I know Princess Anna isn't supposed to have her baby until like Wednesday, so we still have a good amount of time before she does have her baby. But okay, so Princess Amira and Lord Ian. I keep wanting to say Sir Ian. Okay, so we're trying to flirt with Lord Ian right now and it looks like it's going pretty well. They're going to have to go to school soon already, you guys. But they're pretty good friends. Like that's actually pretty surprising to me. No, don't leave. He keeps on leaving. Is it because your needs need to go up or something? Is that why? You cannot leave. You're not allowed to leave. Because Princess Amir really, really wants to flirt with you. So, actually, I don't see, like, any whims or anything for Princess Amira. Did I delete that or something? Like, isn't there an option where you can make that go away? Also, look, her hands are, like, going through her dress right now. That's so strange. Oh, Princess Amira's needs, though, they need to be filled. Okay, so Princess Amira and Lord Ian, they've got some some romantic relationship going. We're gonna ask him to hang out. Oh, the school starts in an hour, you guys! That's not good. No. Okay, oh, and the paparazzi was trying to take a picture of her, too. Where did he go? Why does he keep leaving? Why does this keep happening, you guys? Why? This did not go as planned, and they're going to have to go to school soon. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, you know what? I'm going to have them go to school and then they can go to Lord Ian and Lord Jasper's house afterward. Well, while we are waiting for Princess Amira to get back from school, I feel like this like this literally just happened in the last episode where they had to go to school and we had to do other stuff to wait for her to come back. But let's go ahead and age up some of the little babies of the in Brindleton Bay. So we have like a lot of babies here. I think there might be babies in some other worlds too. But just so you guys can like get a look at them and see them and oh wait did we just go to i don't think that was their house is their house called the 50 50 house i downloaded some new houses for them because they were so unfinished like i didn't realize i had downloaded unfinished houses and i was like well i'm not gonna take the time to like build this because they're not families that we actually focus on so lord wyatt he's supposed to be at school right now but he was at the club with them apparently he could be someone too that lady amira flirts with okay so we're back at their house, but like, oh my gosh, you guys, their baby, it's just legs. Lady Marjorie is just, she just has legs. 
That's terrifying. <laughs> okay, so we have Lady Corinne and Lord Wyatt here. So I'm going to have them age up Lady Marjorie into a toddler. So this is their little sister. She is like, there's a huge age difference between them. Oh gosh, he is like, he is not happy right now. Lord Wyatt has some stuff going on. Okay, Lady Corinne, then if you're already carrying her, then maybe you should just age her up. So age up. And then I need to also fill everyone's needs, so we should be good. And I don't have to look at just, like, legs for a baby anymore. So, okay, so Lady Marjorie. So it already shows us what she's going to look like down here. <laughs> but Lady Marjorie aged up. So let's just make her inquisitive, I guess. I don't know, guys. It's just so, like, so random. I never know. Oh, she's super cute. Honestly, I'm fine with her outfit already. But this is Lady Marjorie, so she is super, super cute. I think she's adorable. And Lady Corinne seems to love the fact that she's a sister. Although Lord Wyatt right now is just like, oh, I hate my life. Why does he hate his life so much? I wanted Lady Corinne, too, to maybe be a marriage option for someone. Like one, like maybe, because we don't have a marriage option yet for Prince Louis in Willow Creek. So uh, maybe Lady Corinne could be an option for him. So that's just, that's just a thought. I think she might be like slightly older than him, but I think that's fine. So, okay, so we've aged up Lady Marjorie. So that is one toddler down. Oh, and then it looks like the kids are going to be back from school already because it's like, Tuesday evening so we can actually go back to Windenburg to go hang out with Princess Amira and some of the boys that she wants to play with. Oh my gosh it is snowing like crazy you guys. Holy wow okay also guys if my voice sounds like really brass like extra brass than usual it's because I'm recovering from a cold so just so you guys know but okay so Princess Amira is going to have to brave the cold it looks like print morgue like from thermostat set to cooler sorry okay let's change that then I think we definitely need to do that because we don't want it to be morgue-like in here. So set thermostat to warmer, even though it costs more. Oh my gosh, is that like frost on the window? That's cool. I never knew it did that. The details are just cool, guys, in this game. I think it's really, really fun. All right, so Princess Amira, maybe should we invite over someone? Uh, I think she should go to their house. I don't think we want like her dad or anyone to see her flirting with these boys, but she's already got a little bit of a romantic relationship going on with Lord Ian. Maybe they should go somewhere. Yeah, let's go somewhere together. So we can't like ask him on a date quite yet. So, but we definitely want to go somewhere indoors because it's cold. Let us go to, I have I showed you guys the Windenburg Square yet? Have I shown this to you guys? I feel like I have. I don't remember, but we'll go here anyway. So it is a Ting hangout area, but let's go with Lord Ian and then maybe we can have them start flirting a little bit. So Princess Amira isn't really going to be able to have like an official boyfriend or anything like that because like, like what? If there, she's an arranged marriage, I feel like her father's going to be like, okay, you have a boyfriend, but you still have to marry this guy when you are when you're a young adult. So it's like kind of pointless for her to have a boyfriend. But why don't we have them sit together? It looks like she was, oh, well, she was enraged, enraged a second ago, and I don't know why, but let's go ahead and have them flirt a little bit more. So, I mean, I think that oh, Lord Ian, I wouldn't want her to like, I don't know, you think you, she should also try to maybe start flirting with Lord Jasper too, like their brothers. I feel like that's kind of messed up, but I mean, I don't know how crazy Princess Amira is going to be, so just have her flirt. I think she's just a huge flirt. Like, let's see. Okay, so she's talking to Lord Ian as she's doing this. I'm going to just kind of see who else she's friends with. I mean, she's really close still with Lord Jasper. And then she's also close with, let's see, some of the other teenagers. I mean, Prince Johan and her, they're friends at least, so we can have them maybe start flirting. They should probably start hanging out a little bit more. And then we also have Lord White. She kind of has a bit of a relationship with him. Baby. Baby Boone? Why is that that guy's name? That's kind of strange. Okay, compliment appearance. I think we already did that, but I don't know where he's going. We do not want to go outside. He needs to come back here. Okay, now the paparazzi has found us, so we need to ask them to leave, otherwise we're gonna get caught. So ask paparazzi to leave. She's feeling confident enough to do that. So yeah, we do not want the paparazzi to see us here. Is that another paparazzi person? No, what are you doing? Go away. Oh my gosh, guys, the paparazzi's back. Go away. What are you doing? Ask to leave. Stop. What? What are you doing? Run inside. You are inside. What? 
What is happening, you guys? Oh my gosh, this is not a private area. We probably should have gone somewhere a little bit more private. Okay, so Lord Ian and Princess Amir right now are like literally like almost best friends. Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Okay, cool. Do you think Princess Amir would boast about messing around? She hasn't messed around with anyone yet though. Maybe she would though, just to sound like cool or something. Why are you waving at him? Where are you going? Kiss. Oh gosh, guys, we could have a first kiss. We could. Let's do it. Princess Amira's first kiss is with Lord Ian, you guys. Oh, this is going to be fun. Okay, here we go. Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, she seems like she's like blushing hardcore right now. Oh, they're both feeling flirty. Okay, but yeah, seriously, they can't be like actual boyfriend and girlfriend. So it's, it's kind of like, like, oh, that kind of sucks. She can't have like an actual boyfriend or girlfriend. We can attempt to seduce. <gasps> Oh, she's getting really steamy with him, you guys. Okay, it is 10 p.m. though. It is getting late. Her father's probably going to be asking where she is pretty soon. So she should probably get home. It's because she doesn't want, like, him to know that he's she's with him. Or with Lord Ian. So it's kind of like a secret relationship, you guys. She's trying to hide it from her parents. And her brother and sister probably don't know yet. Well, they might have seen her flirting out at the club the night before, but we're not sure yet, so we'll just have to see. Okay, you guys, Princess Amira is having a serious mood swing right now. Like, oh my goodness gracious, she is just enraged. She is so enraged. I tried to get her to complete her homework, but that did not work. What does she, what does she need to do though? Like, did I delete those whims or something? Because they're not showing up anywhere. Is, do I have to go to like, uh, game options and then gameplay maybe? I don't see it on here. Show whims, there we go, okay. Oh, I didn't even realize I deleted that, okay. So what does she want to do? She wants to kick a trash can. She, w oh, okay, feeling forlorn, no one likes me. I'll always love you, okay. And then we also have challenge someone to play Don't Wake Llama, but she wants to kick over a trash can right now. So let's go ahead and try that, I guess. Can we kick this over? I don't think we can. Wait, what? Oh. We can't, why can't I even interact with the trash can? Okay, I guess, sorry, Princess Amira, we can't kick over a trash can right now. What does Princess May want to do? She wants to make a friend. Oh, that's cute. Why don't you text someone? I think her and Princess Naya were like getting along really well and becoming friends. So we also have Princess Belle. So then Princess Naya sent a happy text to Princess Naya. And then Prince Kellen, he wants to also make a friend. So who can you become friends with? Let's try uh, your cousin, Princess Belle. Send her a happy text. Okay. Okay, Princess Amir is feeling flirty again, so I think she should send some flirty texts. So let's just let's just have her send some flirty texts to all the boys, you guys. Let's send one to Prince Johan. We can send one to... What? Did they age up and I didn't even realize that? Oh my gosh, you guys, the twins aged up. We have to go see them in this episode. <gasps> Oh, I didn't even realize that. Okay, ah, we might not get to them until the next episode. Oh, I completely missed their birthday. That's so upsetting. Okay, well, Prince Michael and Prince Princess Meghan of Oasis Springs are now aged up into teenagers, apparently. And I didn't even get to see that. But Princess Amira is just flirting with everybody. I don't think we've gotten... No one's invited her to hang out yet. It is like 2 a.m. So I don't know if she's going to get anyone to ask her to hang out. Maybe we should try this tomorrow after school. Okay, so Princess Amira is enraged again. They have come home from school. She oh, hey, Princess Anna's here. Oh, I keep calling her Princess Anna, but it's Marquis Anna. Maybe we should ask her to hang out or something, but like, she needs to vent. Like, why don't you vent to your sister or something? Because you are, j oh, now she's very happy. Never mind. All right, we're good. Okay, so I'm gonna have Princess Amira just text the boys again and then see if any of them ask her to hang out. Because I think that's the best way to go here, you guys. I think, like, just texting them all. Oh, whoops, I texted Lord uh, Lord Jasper, which is Lord Ian's si uh, brother. I'm said sister. Just text them all. See if any of them want to hang out. Prince Johan. Let's go out and enjoy the day. Okay, so Princess Amira and Prince Johan are going to go hang out together, guys. So I feel like with them, like, they just, they know they're going to be in a range marriage. They have, I don't know, do they like each other? Do we think they like each other? Maybe not. Maybe they don't. I don't know, you guys. This is hard. They need to be, like, in somewhat of a romantic, friendly relationship to actually get married. So I think we're gonna have to at least do that. So, oh my gosh. Okay, we're at the children's tutor treehouse. Interesting, all right. Well, Prince Johan, let's just start flirting right away, honestly. Like, 
I think maybe, maybe they might be into this. I mean, Prince, a Princess Amira and Prince Johan, I think they think each other. Did he leave? <gasps> he left her, you guys. <gasps> he asked her to hang out and then he left her. Oh my gosh. That is horrible. That's horrible. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, maybe she doesn't like him then. Oh, that is horrible. All right, well then let's text the other boys to hang out because, geez, she, you know what? She's probably gonna vent to some of the, uh, these other boys. She's gonna be like, oh my gosh, you'll never get guess what Johan did to me. He up and left me. So I think she's gonna tell all these guys that. Oh my gosh, Princess Amir is very tense right now, guys. She is so, so tense. All right, did you finish like venting to everyone though? Maybe you'll even vent to his brother and just be like, you will never understand. Like no one will ever understand. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, I can't believe that happened. <gasps> Lord Sean, she can text too, send text. Should she text someone to come hang out with her here though? But I don't know who. We're just literally, she's texting everybody, you guys. I mean, this is, this is also like a children's place. This is probably not the best place for her to be right now but no one's asking her to hang out you guys should she just ask someone to hang out i kind of wanted a guy to initiate and ask her to hang out prince michael send send a happy text to him send a happy text to lord wyatt even though lord, uh prince michael is like what oh no prince michael he is asking her to hang out oh lord wyatt's asking her to hang out okay let's go with him to the castle cafe. Ooh, this is a fancy place. I swear though, he better not leave her there and ditch her. I cannot believe that Prince Johan did that. What a jerk, guys. Okay, so Princess Amira is very tense. She is going to, I think, probably just vent to Lord Wyatt. Where, okay, I was like, oh my God, did he leave her too? Complain about problems. Yes, complain about problems. It is very cold though. You're gonna have to go sit though, and then bring Lord Wyatt here. Is she feeling embarrassed now? What is happening? He's also very tense. It's probably because of all the rain, to be honest. Or not all the rain. All the, all the, what is this called? All the snow. So she's in a group conversation though, but we don't wanna be in a group conversation. We wanna sit and chat. Should we form a group with Lord Wyatt so we don't lose him? Let's do that. Let's form a group together. So how do I do that again? Actions, add to group. There we go. Okay. Okay. So if we add him to a group, then that way we can all like, we can like do stuff together. So we're going to sit over there together, get away from all of this crazy storming snow and everything. Oh my gosh. Lord Wyatt is just like trying to get by. He's just trying to get through. So she doesn't even really know Lord Wyatt very well, but maybe Lord Wyatt just thinks she's really, really cute. You guys. Also, you guys, I was thinking, oh, hey, Prince Michael. Hey, I heard you and Lord Ian are now good friends. You're getting more popular. Clearly, you're a good person to know. Hmm. Okay. People think, people are noticing Princess Amira a lot. So let's discuss interest. Why did our friendship just go down with him, though? Deep conversation. Oh, now we're about to be in a group conversation with this guy. Okay, let's go to somewhere a little bit more private. Like down. Oh, I forgot about this area, guys. We could go swimming together. We could go, oh, this is so, oh, you could go down another level too. Oh my gosh, this is cool. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, so Princess Amira and Lord Wyatt have gone into a little bit more of a private place. So, oh my gosh though, why? Oh no, Princess Amira has acne, you guys. Oh my gosh, and now all these fans and stuff are here. I keep forgetting that this is a thing. I keep forgetting that there's going to be paparazzi everywhere that we go and it's really irritating. But oh my goodness gracious. So maybe we should exchange numbers. But like seriously, can you get out of the way, Sir Daniel? You are a teenager though, aren't you? Maybe you should start fucking with him too. Okay, although their friendship keeps going down and I don't know why. I don't I don't understand why. Alright, we need to get away from these people. Seriously. Like just just no. Just leave us alone. Seriously? Okay, they've become good friends though. But they're both feeling very flirty, you guys. Like they are super, super into this. So I don't know why. They keep saying friendships going down when they're not getting mad at each other or anything. But like, oh my gosh, you guys. I can't believe she has acne though. <gasps> that sucks. Oh my gosh, that stinks. Okay. But like, look, why is there friendship? I keep getting that going down and I don't understand why. It doesn't make any sense. Ah, okay. Well, I mean, this is going well at least. I, I don't like the acne part of the slice of life mod. I'm probably going to end up deleting that. But make a move. Get away from us, people. Stop literally coming up to us and screaming in our faces. That is actually what you are doing. 
Go sit together over here. Get just We're just going to keep moving until they leave us alone, which I don't even know if that's ever going to happen, but hopefully it does. So sit and chat over there. Go go with her, Lord Wyatt. Go. Oh my god, the Grim Reaper just showed up, you guys. Someone's dying. I don't I have no idea who this is, but he's a fan and he's dying and we're just over here like minding our own business. Can we just sit together over here? Oh no. That's not something we want to see. Does Lord Wyatt know who that is or something? Oh my gosh, this is getting a little bit rough, you guys. Okay, well now there's this random urn in the middle of the venue area. I don't know what to do with this, you guys. Should we keep it here or should we leave it? Or should we like release it into the netherworld? I don't actually know, but Princess Samira and Lord Wyatt are just here hanging out together. They are, oh, pressure to conform, rave about growing up. I think Princess Amira for sure is like, well, I don't know if she wants to grow up because then when she grows up, she would have to marry Lord Johan who ditched her. Why does their friendship keep going down? I swear, it's like nothing's happening and they're not getting mad at each other, but their friendship keeps going down and it doesn't make any sense. That is so, so weird to me, you guys. They're just hanging out together. It is winter and they are like in their bathing suits and stuff. But I think they're like, what? But like, why? Why is their friendship going down? It doesn't make sense because he's into this. It just doesn't make any sense. Okay, you guys, I think I'm going to have them. Oh, wait, we might need to like make them happy. Be oh, no. Oh, no. What happened? Their romance started to go down a little bit, but they still seem into it. I don't understand. But what? Um, Complain about cloudy weather? But she's not, like, embarrassed. Is she embarrassed? Oh, she is embarrassed. Oh, my God. Look at all of these. This is insane. There's a lot of emotions happening right now, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Compliment appearance. Do we want to be flirty? Because they're having a steamy exchange. And then we can hold hands. I think I'm going to have them do a kiss, too, you guys. Princess Amira is about to have... Oh, no! I think Princess Anna might have already had her baby. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. I totally forgot about that. <gasps> okay. Okay. Well, Princess Anna, I think she... Wait, did I did I just press first kiss? First kiss. Okay. They're gonna have their first kiss, you guys. She's kissing another boy. This is not... This is <laughs> not what princesses should be doing. And oh my god, that poor thing. She has so much acne right now. But oh my goodness gracious. Okay. Okay. So she's just kissed another boy. And I think that's enough craziness with Princess Amira for now. You guys can let me know what you think. Although I am like, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm gonna have to film this like way ahead. So any of your comments, I'm not gonna see until like after the 18th of May. So just so you guys know. But real quick, I wanna go to Princess Anna or Marquis Anna so we can go see her baby. Cause I don't know if she had a boy or a girl and I didn't even name it yet, but I wanna choose like a name for her too. Or him, her, him. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl yet. Okay, so Marquis Anna did have her baby and it's just a bunch of floating legs right now. Its name right now is Whitney, but I'm gonna change that. And oh my goodness gracious. Okay, so we are going to change her, let's see, age, age up. We're gonna age her up. And I do have a name in mind and this is a name that I had been having a lot, like, I, I promise a viewer I named her this a long time ago, and I completely forgot until now. So, I'm, her name is not going to be Whitney. I'm going to make her... Let's make her wild, because she's the youngest. She's the youngest of three girls, you guys. And she's blonde! Oh! Okay, so we're going to go modify and cast. Oh, guys, I'm really excited. So I'm actually going to name her Sadira because I did promise a viewer that I would name her Sadira a while ago. So we're going to go ahead and do that. I do want to change her outfit really quick, too. So this is going to be Lady Sadira. So we have three. They have three girls, you guys. That is craziness. Okay, so let's do. I'm just gonna pick a style look to go with for now. So this is like I'm actually fine with her hairstyle. I think I like this a lot. So this is her hair. This is not going to be her. No, yeah, we're we're changing that. And then let's change just some of the, oh, well, do we like that? I don't really know. Maybe not so much of that, but like, ooh, this one, or that one's cute too, with the little hearts. Although that kind of reminds me of like a Minnie Mouse dress. I don't know if that actually looks that good on her. Let's do that or that one. I think her sister's actually wearing that dress. This one works too, but her shoes are red. Um, I'm sorry. I don't want to go like, go like too much into this, but this one's also really cute. This is cute. Okay, let's go with this. Oh, that's cute. Okay. And then, I mean, that. yeah, that's pretty much, that's good for now. Okay, 
So, this is Lady Sadir. She's got a bunch of bows in her hair, and I don't know why. Maybe we should get rid of that. But she's so pretty, guys! She's, like, such a mix. Like, she got, she ended up with blonde hair, like Lady Anna. So, oh, I love her! Oh my gosh, okay, so we have the three girls. So, Ezra, Aurora, and Sadira are their three girls, and I love them a lot, you guys. So, I'm actually gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget that if you are making any comments, I'm probably not gonna see them till after the 18th of May. Oh, that was just loud music, so, yep, pause that. Um, so yeah, I probably won't see them till after whatever episodes come after the 18th of May. So, just so you guys know that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give this video a big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and to turn on your notifications. And I will see you guys in the next episode.